Yo, what is going on guys? It's me, Glitching Style, and welcome back to another video. Now today what I have for you guys is a new, really easy card duplication glitch. This should work for PS4, Xbox One, um, not sure about last gen, but you guys can give it a try. Um, you guys will also need a friend for this glitch, so feel free to post your gamer tag or PlayStation Network ID in the comments. Now let's get started. Now once you have your friend, what you guys want to do, you want to go ahead and spectate your friend, the beta version. So just go ahead and spectate your friend and once your friend is spectating, you want, you want to go ahead and tell your friend to launch a race and start the race. It doesn't matter what kind of race, it can be any race, the point is for him to start it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up ahead. Alright so once your friend has actually started up the race, once um, he sees 3, 2, 1, 0 and is able to drive, um, you want to go ahead and tell your friend to press start and quit GT application um, for the PlayStation um, I'm sure there's a button where you would press start and exit out the GT application and then you want to go ahead and tell your friend to restart so once your friend exit you'll get the alert screen just go ahead press A or X and once you load into the session you're gonna see that um you won't see the friends like you can't see all the people in the session like that so if you can't see that that means you've done the glitch correctly and then from there you want to tell your friend to um, to load up the same session that he was in so for in this video I did an invite only session so my friend has loaded up into an invite only session you want to go ahead and tell your friend to invite you and you go ahead and join into his session I'm gonna go ahead and accept the invite Alright, so once you load it in, you want to go back into your garage and now pick out the car that you want to duplicate. For me, I'm going to duplicate the lowrider, so I'm going to drive out the lowrider and once your friend comes up to you, you want to tell him to get any street car, a street car that you can store into your garage and then what you're going to do is go ahead, go inside the street car and you want to tell your friend to go inside the lowrider that you took out. Make sure he is inside. If he's not inside, this will not work. Make sure that he's inside. So once he's inside, go ahead and take the um, street car and store it into your garage. It's going to ask you to replace a vehicle. So just replace a Karen Rebel. I recommend that you have a full garage of Karen Rebels or a couple of Karen Rebels so you can replace it. So once you replace it, just go in and then take that lowrider. It's going to be there since I just took it out. It's still going to be there because the game is glitched. So you drive out that same lowrider and then that lowrider that your friend's in you want to go ahead and just switch so you go ahead and go inside into that lowrider and my friend is going to go inside the other lowrider and then from here we're almost done duplicating cars so what we're going to do we're going to store this lowrider and it's going to do nothing it's just going to put it back inside and then from here just walk out of the garage and then you want to go ahead and tell your friend to get out the lowrider So just tell your friend to get out, you want to go back inside and store the vehicle. Now this time it's going to ask you to replace a vehicle, just replace a Karen Rebel. And there we go, we got two lowriders, I'm going to duplicate one more lowrider just to show you that this glitch does work. So just simply take out your lowrider, go ahead and get a streetcar. Alright, so once you have your streetcar, go ahead and store it in your garage. Now you may notice that they're invisible cars, there will be visible cars because of the glitch so just go ahead and um, switch out a car you don't need like I'm going to replace the Karen Rebel and then go back into your lowrider, drive it out and then make sure you switch spots with your friend and make sure that your friend was in the car before you store the um, street vehicle. So my friend is in there, he's going to get out of that lowrider and he's going to get into the lowrider that I just got out and then from there you, just, you guys know what to do 
So I'm gonna go ahead and store this and when I get out the garage I'm gonna get in that lowrider and I'm gonna replace the vehicle. I'm gonna speed this ahead for you guys so you guys don't have to watch all the boring parts. And um, before I end the video, um, if you're gonna sell the vehicles, once you're done duplicating, once you have your garage, you need to exit out the GTA application. Um, as I'm as I'm gonna speed it up, I'm gonna take it to Los Santos and I'm gonna tell you that the vehicle's not gonna be modified. I'm gonna just show you that. And then once I had finished showing it to you, just um, I'm gonna put it back into the garage and I'm gonna exit out the GTA application. And then once you um, restart a GTA and load into GTA Online, then you'll be able to sell your cars. And then from there, you're good to go. You you done a glitch. It's actually really easy compared to all the other car duplication glitch. I would also really appreciate it if you can give this video a like. It helps the video get out there. It helps me get views and it helps me get known. So I would appreciate if you give me the like for all the effort. And if you guys are new, subscribe for more future videos. And remember guys, stay glitching. Peace.